Straight away, I'm drawn to the one with the woolly head here. We're speaking to Mai. She's from New Zealand. About two minutes. Two minutes, yeah, yeah no, I can tell. <laughs> I need a haircut, like, uh, it's getting a wee bit long, but oh, it'll be fine. Uh, we'll just keep battling away here. Good morning, sheep fans. Cami's the name, sheep's the game. And we're at the big jobs now. We're down in Northumberland again. This time we're with Mr. Armstrong, Mr. and Mrs. Armstrong at Middle Moor. And we have a beautiful pen of sheep standing, waiting for us to get started this morning. What are we shearing today? Well, there's a mix. Straight away, I'm drawn to the one with the woolly head here. Hopefully Andy pulls that little Romney. Maybe a Romney cross, no, it looks like a pure Romney. Out of the pen. Real variety, some swales. Suffolk cross, blue faced Leicester. Bueller's. Bueller mules. Oh, that would be Scotch mules, those ones. Some real variety here, so at this bit we have 300 odd in this lot and then there's 150 hogs to come down to us. A little bit breezy, it's a cold morning, the back's really going to feel it today. We'll get a start done, get a warm up and then we'll show you some of the team. So, uh, sharing with us today, we have uh, the legendary Andy Bailey. He's, he's not really one for the camera, but the boys at home, think about Be Ben and Archie will uh, love to, to hear what he's up to. So, how's it been the uh, last couple of days, Dad? Get away. <laughs> he's, qu he's quite camera shy, as you can see, boys, but I can tell you, uh, personally, he's been loving it. He uh, keeps telling me, the only thing is, you know, Mrs. Ho you got homesick, eh? Yeah. He gets homesick, uh, and he's worried about the boy at West Park. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaking around the house, but apart from that, uh, yeah, loving it. Okay, so next up in our interview uh, section of this video, we're speaking to Mai. She's from New Zealand and you've been here for two years. Mm -hmm. Now, Mai, she's here doing the wool. She's not come over to do the wool though, she's come over for life experiences, mm -hmm. but instead we had Covid <laughs> and she's ended up here. What else do you do, Mai, apart from rolling wool? Um... I just help the shearers as much as I can. Just like my life, my goal is to just make their life as easy as possible. Um, yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. And, and well, if that's the case, a bit less talking back would be magic. But, <laughs> <laughs> no, so Mai's very modest. She's also, you work as a nurse from time to time. Mm -hmm. Yes, and obviously she's quite busy through COVID and things like that. And you're also a florist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she yep. also works as a florist. So many, many strings to her bow. Probably not as much travel as she wanted, which is why I'm taking her around the countryside now, showing her lovely sights like this here. I mean, just how we look at these trees and that grass and that horizon. So, so far your time in Northumberland, how have you enjoyed it? Yeah, it's been fabulous. Had yeah. some um, 
great hosting from the Milburn farm. Middlemuir. Middlemuir. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so yes, enjoying ourselves. Obviously, we have a big summer ahead. You're competing at the Highland Show as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, good friend Rosie is going to look after you, hopefully, and show you how to is master she? it. Good. Well, yeah. I asked Rosie if she would, that entered you, but she won't show you all the tricks, obviously, because she yeah. doesn't want she you to be beating her. A few under her yeah, her of belt. course, you know yeah. how it is. Yeah. Watch out, Rosie. She's doing, a, she's doing a great job. It's all going very well. Look forward to a big season. So, as I said before, we try when we're at uh, new farms and stuff, talk to sort of the farmer or the shepherd. And, the farmer's not actually here at the moment, uh, so we'll speak to Head Shepherd Lorne. Uh, Lorne, how long have you been Head Shepherd here at uh, Armstrong Holdings? Um, about two minutes. Two minutes, yeah, I yeah, know, I can tell. And <laughs> how, how has lambing been this year? Brilliant, yeah. yeah what kind of percentage were you lambing out at? 200%. Yeah, no, I thought yeah, so. I thought that might be the case, yep. And the sheep are sharing today, a bit of variety. Why is that? Well, we've just got a few new breeds. Yeah. Mix it up a bit, I think. Yeah, just keep it exciting. Yeah. yeah, no, that's great to see you in the sheep game. Just a bit of variety. Just fancy a swale, buy some swales. Fancy a Romney, buy a Romney. It's great, perks. A lot of grass here. Eh? Quite a, a lush place you're on. Yeah, plenty. Yeah, yeah. In, ter in terms of farms that you've been head shepherd at, would you say this is the best? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. been the best so far. So, all so these, far. All these minutes, yeah. Yeah, all these minutes, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, fantastic. So, yeah, lot, how many sheep are you running along? That's one of the last things folk are always asking. 6,000 yows. 6,000 yows, that's great. The cue cards at the background here are just a wee bit slow for you. But uh, that's that's ideal, no? And uh, we'll get to, how many are we shearing today? About 600. 600, that sounds good. That makes us sound good. I think it's slightly less, but yeah, no, we're doing 600. So it's going to be a broad day. I would put the drone up, but it's a little bit windy. So we just need to work away with this footage and some clips of us shearing. Enjoy. Sheep fans, broad day out here in Northumberland. Uh, you know the crack. I'm Cami. Well, just here shearing. I need a haircut. Like uh, it's getting a wee bit long, but oh, I'll be fine. Uh, we'll just keep battling away here. Um, aye, it's not bad. We've got some mules here with Tom, head shepherd at Middlemoor. Uh, it's a great day. Absolutely great day.
And that's us finished here, sheep fans. It was a tight one for the day. We did roughly 580 or thereabouts. The numbers ended up 286. Andy did 286 and I did 285. It was getting pretty heated there towards the end, but the big man, he's got the class to see it out and he did beat me. One sheep is as well as 100 sheep, as my good friend Archibald says. That's us for another one of sheep fans. We'll see you for the next one.